Dropping in five, four, three, two, one. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of F-Buff. I bet you're wondering what the hell happened to this helmet. Let's go back in time and see exactly what happened. Here I'm gonna be doing a proper review on the ILM helmet. They sent me this helmet to do a review. Uh, probably not the kind of review I'm about to do because I'm gonna break this fucking helmet. Walter the watermelon is gonna play our head today. Boys, let's try the watermelon. Oh my God, let, let it go. Yeah. 10 and a half, what do you think? Watermelon to make more of a mess. It'll yeah. be more fun. Yeah, and the human head is- They're both uh, not as big as your head. It has the right texture as a human head, too. We're about to throw this watermelon out this window, and this is gonna simulate- All right, I'm filming. Copy that. And this is gonna simulate an actual accident. So basically, it's gonna be awesome, I can't wait. Okay. I can't believe you're making me throw this out. All right, hold on. Um, one second. Copy that. All right, dropping of the helmet at 30 to 40 miles an hour, starting in three, two, one. Right now, oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, we were going. How fast were we going? We were going like thirty miles an hour. Okay. Oh my god. We're going about 30. Hold on. We're going Walter. Oh, hold on. This is fun, I will say. This is hilarious. <laughs> I don't think he's okay. Okay. Sorry, Walter. F bomb made me do it. I don't think you're sorry. Sorry to Okay, let's you. check this helmet out and see what happened. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about this. So here's, uh, here's the rest of his chin. The rest of his chin is right here. Oh my god. And, uh... So as long as he, as he had a torso, he would have been okay, right? He would have been alright. He would have been okay. He would have been alright. So his yeah. head did get a little... His neck was pretty exposed. His neck, his neck was exposed, so I won't count that toward the test. But as far as the helmet goes... So we got... Scratches on the side. I was actually surprised because I thought that the module part of this was actually going to snap off. Yeah, I don't really, I don't usually trust them. I don't like. Them. I don't trust these module helmets when they flip up because it's uh, it doesn't ver it doesn't really protect your face as well as it should. But um, as far as I can see, I mean, it's hey, the visor still works. I think that's a success. I think I think that'd have been all right. It's a pretty successful test, I think. But there's a problem. The helmet's still alive. Yeah. You want to do a higher impact test? Yeah. yeah higher impact. We're test. gonna go. We're gonna go high ground and uh, drop this helmet and see what happens. All right. So we just did the crash test of the helmet. Uh, now we're gonna do the impact test to where we're gonna actually <laughs> drop three stories high. And uh... you eating Walter? <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, so we're here at Kaiser Hospital parking garage. Uh, it's about three stories high. We're gonna do the impact test. I have Eli and Luke on the ground. I'm going aerial. And we're gonna get this done. All right, dropping in five, four, three, two, one. I 
think it's safe to say that Walter is sufficiently dead. Now you just gotta throw it again. Yeah, I'm gonna come down and throw it again. It was a successful test. We're gonna go through what actually happened to it. But so far, helmet did pretty well. Scratches indicate that it did land on its shin part of the, motor the motorcycle helmet. Walter's gone, Walter's dead. Walter is no longer with us. So we're making a way to the top. We're gonna do another, one more test. I'm set. Elijah, you set? Yeah. Go. All right, throwing helmet in three, two, one. Oh, that did it. I think that's a successful drop. Yeah, looks like the chin came out. So let's go over what exactly has happened to the helmet. Um, obviously, first things first, the module part of the helmet actually uh, snapped off, I think during the last crash, right? Last crash. The last one. We have some cracks over here. <laughs> um, so that's a big problem. As far as, so if you were going head on with a car, you'd be dead right now. But you'd be, probably be dead regardless. Yeah. But still, your head would be not in good shape. It'd definitely be a closed casket. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised that it lasted so long. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it took it did, Granted, it to, took the third fall for that, that uh, chin break. But even the foam on the inside has cracked. So that's your forehead right there. So all in all, um, I would have to say I don't recommend this helmet. Yeah? I don't. I mean... I just don't recommend chin helmets. I don't like chin I don't helmets. recommend chin helmets. I don't recommend uh, modular module really helmets because it's already unsafe with that because it, it's... The, the chin part of the helmet should not be detachable because that's like the most important part of the motorcycle helmet is to protect your face. And um, this helmet obviously did not pass that test. As far as durability through multiple crashes, it definitely passed, but I would not recommend this helmet. I do not think that this helmet is uh, safe enough for sport bikes. Maybe a scooter, BMX bike maybe, but not sport bike motorcycles. Do not do that. Do not, do not get this helmet if you own a sport bike or a cruiser. Anything heavier than 800 pounds, don't do it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. And um, I will have the link in the description for this helmet. And just in case you are, for some weird, strange reason, interested in buying this helmet. Uh, but again, I don't recommend it. So until next time, thank you for joining me on this episode of FBA. Peace.